Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Happy premiere day. That's right. This show, Bachelorette, premieres tonight, 9 p.m. East Coast. We'll have a live stream before the episode at 8 p.m. and right after we'll go live. Make sure you join the live stream if you want me to keep on doing them. That's all I can say about that. We got to have a robust audience there with your participation. We'll take your voicemails, hear back from you. It's been a nice, long barrel scraping season, but it's over, baby. That barrel is scraped. We are off to a new barrel. We've pried it open and it's chock full of tea. Uh, but Rachel Lindsay is not watching. And that's okay. That's okay, guys. Don't, oh, well, why does she still talk about the show? She was asked to comment. They made an article about it. Why Rachel Lindsay is rooting but not watching charity season. Let's get to that conversation right now. Rachel Lindsay no longer watches The Bachelorette, but is rooting for charity in exclusives. She, in exclusive. she said, charity, if you're out there, and she is, I'm rooting for you and I wish you all the best, but I'm not going to watch, Lindsay says. All right, let's just read the article. While Rachel may, long, may no longer follow The Bachelorette, she is rooting for upcoming star Charity Lawson. Ahead of Monday night's season 20 premiere, Lindsay spoke with people at Project Angel Foods Lead with Love for Telephone on KTLA Saturday about her Bachelorette successor. I haven't met Charity. I would actually love to meet Charity. She seems lovely. I don't follow the show, but it's inevitable to not see it and not see what's going on. The extra, extra host as of the newly named leading lady. She seems great. She seems really happy. She was actually at our studio the other day, but I missed her. So Charity, if you're out there, I'm rooting for you, as she says. She explains, I still keep in touch with past and present contestants, however, whoever. My door's always open, but not my TV. It's not tuned in. Hey, that's a good way to put it. She's here. She's doing her thing, but she's protecting her time and not wasting on that smut TV. Lindsay starred on season 13 of The Bachelorette in 2017, and she is no longer tied to The Bachelor franchise after the former Bachelor Happy Hour co-host left her role on the podcast in April 2021 following 100 episodes. Isn't that wild? That was April 2021. It was so long ago. Of course, that following a lot of controversies where she said, you know what? I don't want to be a part of this franchise anymore and of course there'll be commenters who were done responding to that'll say if she doesn't want to be a part of it why does she talk about it well it's kind of like how i don't want to be a part of a fraternity even though i was in what you know what i mean it's like there's nothing wrong like there's you <laughs> you still talk about your life experiences she fell in love and got engaged to contestant brian abasola who by the way i'm going to be asking rachel Lindsay, and brian abasola to be on driving with dave who if you haven't caught is our latest episode is doing very well well, it's uh, with Spatular star Corinne Olympios. Here she is in my uh, vehicle. It'll be one of the last episodes uh, in, in the Prius before the Tesla arrives. As actually I'm making this video here, the Tesla is set to arrive in like half an hour. So I'll have a new car, new upgrades, and all of that jazz. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be lovely to get Rachel Lindsay to join me, and we'll have to see if she says yes. Uh, but you know, she's, a, she's always been kind to us, so we'll have to see. Quite naturally, the audience wants to know what we are doing, if we are okay, and what is next for our future, she wrote in a 2022 blog post. They want the love story to still play out for their public Public perception, but our contractual public story ended on August 7th, 2017. So that's why they're saying, You're not get. I'm not getting paid to share my love story, so I won't. Um, anyway, that's what she had to say about uh, her relationship with husband, um, uh, Brian Abasolo, aka the Ab Doctor. So there they are, they've been together for a long time. Uh, she says that as time goes on, marriage with Brian Abasolo is getting easier because we just know each other and we get each other. But at the same time, as much as you love each other, you also get on each other's nerves at the same time. But we get each other. That's my best friend. Oh, yeah. You're not in a good relationship if you're not getting on your partner's nerves. That means you're not trying hard enough. So anyway, she's not watching. But also, oh, we lost this one. We had another story there of Charity Lawson. Charity Lawson actually had responded to some criticisms there, but the story's gone. So look, it's let's move on to the next one. Thomas Jacobs says he won't be watching The Bachelorette, but it's not why you think. First, there was a Q&A where someone asked him, did you ever find that other ring Becca gave you? He said, no, I'm devastated and ashamed because uh, life light and fine, whatever it's called, really created perfection with that one. Working on getting a replacement. What's up with these guys losing their rings? Come on, put it on the finger. Don't, let, don't take it off. All right, so anyway, here's what he had to say about why he won't be watching The Bachelorette. We have a new parent baby comprehension class, I guess is what you would call it, that's starting up this week on Monday nights. So we'll be taking that as priority. Um, without saying too much, I'm not exactly thrilled with some of the decisions and directions that have been going on behind the scenes over the last 
last several months, so I probably will not be tuning in. And then at the same time, I've actually only watched Bachelor in Paradise. Um, so I don't, I don't see that. I don't see that trend breaking on this. By the way, his shirt looks amazing. If you're listening to this on the Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, he's got this nice floral, light pink kind of uh, uh, plant shirt happening there with some palm France. I mean, very nice looking thing. But he mentioned something very interesting. He says he doesn't like what's been going on behind the scenes. And to that, I'm not sure what it is, but of course his wife announced yesterday that she's no longer going to be a part of the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's the uh, uh, mix up with showrunners or producers, if it has anything to do with just what you're watching on the TV or behind the scenes as far as what's going on with the podcast. We'll have to see. But Charity, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you find happiness and love. And I hope that's continuing for you today. So go give him Tiger. Now, of course, there'll be an article tomorrow about how The Bachelor's falling in the ratings and this and that. But I have to tell you, the Writers Guild of America has been on strike now for a long time. And for every day that the Writers Guild is on strike, that will be a day that content doesn't get made. I actually spoke to someone in the Writers Guild yesterday about this issue. And it's like, look... Shows like The Bachelor, shows like 90 Day Fiance, and what all these non scripted reality shows are going to thrive in the fall and into next year when there's no content being made. Guys, for the last month, there has been no new content being made. There will be a ripple effect. We saw that happen during the pandemic. It will happen here. That's why regardless of what the demographics say regarding are people watching the show or are they not watching the show, the show must and will go on. It's a pretty complicated situation for a lot of reasons. Seems like they're going to be switching. So the question is, did you offer? Did your offer get accepted on your neighbor's house? Listing agents. So right when that happens, I'll resubmit on the property. For now, I have taken this window and we're finishing up all the landscaping and hardscaping in our house where we currently sit. So stay tuned on that. That should be done this week. And hopefully we'll have more information on potentially getting the neighbor's house accepted here fairly shortly. So... All right, so it looks like they're doing some house swapping. Stay consistent. And what advice do you have for someone training for the first marathon? Okay, well, that took a left turn. Follow a program. My last two runs, I did a very, very poor job of actually staying in that training mindset and that regimen, and I paid the price for it. Um, biggest piece of advice I'd give, especially since your first one, when you're training, work on tempo and time and pace yourself, but on race day, the goal is to finish. Don't kill yourself all right so i'm surprised thomas as tall as he is I, ran a marathon uh congrats on the baby boy would you like to have a baby girl sometime was the question I want a baby girl so stinking badly it, to the point where i'm already asking becca for a baby girl and we don't even got a little baby boy yet so yes i have such bad baby fever i want to have a son i want to have a daughter i want to have I smell some babies. <laughs> so look at that. Thomas with a baby fever. All right. And there he is. Okay, good. So that's what we have now. I've got other things coming your way. I've got Susie Evans interviewing Andrew Spencer. I've got actually very interesting Boston Rob from Survivor actually talked about why he thinks The Bachelor doesn't perform as well as the survivor does when it comes to finding your life partner. It's actually very fascinating. I'm going to share these different clips with you guys on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, which will be coming out in the next couple hours. You can always go search Bachelor Rush Hour wherever you listen to podcasts and get that. That'll have our full preview for tonight's episode. That'll have all those other individual clips. And then I've also got a preview on YouTube coming that will have all of ten, all of the trailers that will lead up to tonight's episode. So lots Lots to get to. Live stream happening at 8 p.m. East Coast. That's one hour before the show starts. The show is pushed back. We'll have a live stream before and after tonight's episode. You're going to love it, everybody. It's going to be fantastic, and we'll talk to you all in a little bit.